Today I'm going to be showing you how to get one of the most powerful rings in Skyrim and arguably the best light armor in the entire game as well. And all of this can be done at level 1. However, it is possible to miss out on getting both quest rewards if you do the wrong thing here. So do pay close attention. So let me start by going over the two rewards you'll be getting. Firstly, we have the Ring of Massa. This is one of the very few rings in Skyrim that actually has free enchantments on it at once. In fact, it's actually impossible for you to enchant anything with free enchantments yourself. Even with level 100 enchanting and the extra effect perk, you're only able to put two enchantments on one item. But what does this ring actually do, and who is it made for? Well, it makes illusion spells cost 30% less to cast, it also increases your stamina by 20 points, and makes it so that your sneaking is 20% better, making you much harder to detect. So the ring is obviously great for a stealth archer build or an assassin, and absolutely ideal for any stealthy illusion mages. Since the perk Quiet Casting exists in the illusion skill tree that lets you both shout and cast spells and even summon the Bound Bow spell stealthily without making any noise or any enemies detecting you. So this ring really fits many Skyrim builds, but it's perfect for the illusion sneak mage build. The second quest reward we'll be obtaining is rather strange, it's the Daedric Male Armor Set. This is a light armor version of the Daedric Armor that includes the Daedric Male chest piece, light Daedric Male boots, and light Daedric Male gauntlets. But also, the armor set includes a heavy armor Daedric Helmet, which is good and bad. Let me explain. Firstly, the light Daedric Mail Armor has a base armor rating of 72 without the helmet. So it's almost as good as glass armor without even wearing a helmet. And it also benefits from all your light armor skill perks like custom fit and matching set which in total give you an additional 50% boost to your total armor rating, even though it's not technically a full set of armor because you're not wearing a helmet. This means that you could also put an enchanted crown or other item on your head which doesn't count as armor, but still retain the light armor perk effects to boost your armor rating. No other armor in the game does this. Another option is to put on any other light armor helmet like the Dragon Priest Mask, Krosis. The only negative effect of doing this is that you lose the matching set bonus which makes you lose 25% of your total armor value. That said, the base armor value of the Daedric Male is 72, plus Croesus's armor rating of 21, means you'll still have a base armor rating of 93, which is still higher than the best light armor in Skyrim. But you also get all of the added benefits of the enchantments that Croesus has, or any other light armored headwear that you want to wear. So the trade-off is 100% worth it. And again, this is the only light armor set in the game that allows you to do this, without taking away the benefits of wearing a matching set of armor. Finally though, we need to talk about the optional heavy Daedric helmet that you can wear. Wearing this heavy Daedric helmet will give you a total base armor of 95, and it still counts as a full set of light armor, meaning all the light armor perks still work, and you get that 50% extra boost to your armor rating, even though you're technically wearing heavy armor and light armor at the same time. The main drawback of this is that by doing that, you'll be leveling up your light armor skill and your heavy armor skill at the same time. So if you're planning on min-maxing your character, that's obviously not going to be a good thing for you. So now I've explained every possible application, let's find both the Ring of the Messa and the Daedric armor set together. And subscribe if you found the video helpful so far. Now in order to get the Daedric Light Mail armor for yourself, the fastest way to begin the quest to do this is to come to Windhelm, located in the northwest of Skyrim's map, just over here. Once you arrive in the city of Windhelm, you will find Candle Hearth Hall, which is the local inn. You're going to want to head inside, and you'll need to speak with the local innkeeper. But before you do, I recommend quickly checking your quest log and see if you have a quest called Missing Merchant, because it is possible for the courier to give you the quest instead. 
But if you don't have the quest, here's how you're going to get it. Talk to Elder. This here's Candle Hearth Hall. Ask her if she's heard any rumors repeatedly until she finally gives you the quest, Missing Merchant. Have you seen that shrine of Azura? Any bounty work I can help with? Of course. It's all in this note. So now she's given us another quest we don't need. Some work, do you have anything for me? Of course. It's all in this note. My own Hollyfrost farm outside the city. There we go. Now we it's start the quest. Work. Missing merchant. I mean to go ahead and read the note she's just given us. The missing merchant's note, which tells us a merchant by the name of Gunther has gone missing near Traitor's Post. Now we need to go there and find out what happened to him. From Windhelm, you're going to head directly east over here to Traitor's Post, which is where you'll find a group of bandits. And if you guys didn't know, Bethesda now have official metallic artwork from display and they basically just stick magnetically to your wall so you have this protective layer and then a magnet and then you can just stick any metallic artwork you like onto your wall like that as you can see i've covered my entire wall with them they're an awesome company you can check them out from the link down below in the description now once you do arrive you'll find some bandit archers and also a mage here I highly recommend taking out the mage first. I'm using a Daedric crossbow here, which you can actually also get at level one. I recommend grabbing it ahead of coming here, in fact. As you can see, we can make short work of all of the enemies here and take them all out without effort. In fact, Lydia will help me do so. Oh my god, Lydia. Beast! Enough of this! Enough of this indeed and send him to oblivion. So after you've taken out the bandits, you'll find Erwin a lot among the dead. Read the journal and note to update the quest. Now if you follow my other guide, you'll recognize this note from Edward, who is a member of the Crimson Dirk bandits. And then we have Erwin's journal. Erwin's journal will explain that she stole some Daedric armor from a cult and sold it to a Khajiit merchant. But if we give them a ring of value, he'll actually trade it for the Daedric armor. Alternatively, you can buy it, which I'll show you in a moment. But if we come over to the fireplace, we'll find the missing merchant, Gunther, who has the Ring of Massa and a book, Volume 5, on the Crimson Dirk bandits. Now, the Ring of Massa is actually one of the most powerful rings in the entirety of Skyrim. It makes illusion spells cost 30% less to cast, and it increases your stamina by 20 points. It also makes sneaking 20% better. And this ring has free enchantments and they're all very powerful. So we're gonna take this ring now and we have a new choice. We need to go and find the Khajiit caravan who sold the ring first though. Now for me, the Khajiit caravan is located on the quest marker. If you open your quest log and you activate the quest missing merchant, it will show you where on the map the merchant is located because he could be outside any city in the game because the Khajiit caravans travel around all the cities and you can purchase goods from them. So just here outside Windhelm is where we're going to meet him. Let's travel to the stable. So once we make it to the gates of Windhelm, if we just come down the steps here, we will find the Khajiit merchant sheltering from the snow just over here. Now we have a choice. I welcome you, friend. How may I serve you? I understand you were sold a set of Daedric armor. That is the truth. An honest Khajiit. You should trade it for this ring. It's just as valuable and easier to carry. This ring is a Khajiit artifact. I think you should trade the armor for it. The armor was stolen. Trade it for this ring before the guards note it. I'd like to buy it off you for 5,000 gold. Now, now Madran will accept the ring as payment for the armor no matter what you tell him. However, I highly recommend that instead of getting this Daedric Light Mail Armor at level 1, you actually just wait until you have 5,000 gold to buy it. What I recommend you do is use this hack method in order to get money, or you can follow my law-friendly method of making gold, link down below in the description if you don't want to follow this tip. So to make 5,000 gold very quickly, what you can do is go to the carriage, which is just over here, and ask him to take you to Dawnstar. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? 
Now you can do this from any city in the game, wherever this Khajiit trader might be. You can just go to the local carriage outside the stables of that city and ask him to take you to Dawnstar. Or obviously, if you've already discovered it, you can just go there yourself. For reference though, Dawnstar is located just here on the map in the north of Skyrim near the Sea of Ghosts. So once you do arrive at Dawnstar, you're going to head past the inn just over here. And we're going to go towards the mine, which is located at the very back of the town in the east. Ironbreaker mine is three times the worth back. So this is the entrance to the mine just here, and it's called Ironbreaker Mine. Instead of going inside, we're going to look to the left of the entrance, and you're going to see this tree just over here. And there's kind of like three stones positioned like this. Now, just behind this third stone at the back here, we get in the right position and just over here you'll find it says search chest go ahead and search this chest and you'll find a chest full of tons of leveled loot and basically what this is is it's the khajiit caravan's inventory meaning that you can pretty much just take 750 gold right out of this chest and you can also take all of the grand soul gems that are worth 500 each the greater ones that are worth 350. You can take everything out of this chest. It doesn't count as stealing. All the lockpicks, all the potions, anything that you need. And then you can go to any merchant and sell this stuff. And then you can get gold in order to actually buy the Daedric armor for yourself. As you can see, he's selling enchanted items here and they sell for 700 gold this sells for 1500 gold so it's very easy to make a lot of money there's a few of these secret chests located throughout the game that you can access as long as you don't have the unofficial patch installed if you do have it installed just uninstall it and then it will work if you want a guide on where to find all of these secret chests hidden over skyrim check out my other guide linked down below. To actually sell the armor, I recommend visiting the local smith, and then you can just sell all of the supplies. You can even wait a couple of in-game days, and then that chest will respawn, and you can just repeatedly do that over and over until you have 5,000 gold. So he's now traveled to just outside of Solitude over here. The quest marker will always track where he is. And now we have the money, we can go ahead and buy his Daedric armor for 5,000 gold. Okay, okay, you've taught me into it. And there you go. Now we have the full Daedric male armor and helmet as well. And we've also completed the mission Missing Merchant. So there we have the heavy Daedric helmet, the Daedric male armor, Daedric male boots, and the Daedric male gauntlets as well. If you guys also want to get the Daedric crossbow, which you can also get at level one, I recommend following my guide on how to do that next. And then you can go ahead and destroy people in pretty much the best light armor and weapon early on at level one in Skyrim. 